Hello everybody and welcome once again to my show, Eatin' Daily. Because, well, you gotta eat, you gotta eat every single day, so why not make a video and show everybody what you're eating, right? That's what I figure, so here I am. Today, we have from the Cherry Cricket, here in the heart of the Cherry Creek in Denver, a cricket burger with cream cheese and bacon on top, as well as some jalapeno poppers with some strawberry jam. Is it strawberry or is it raspberry? I think it might be raspberry jam. It's red jam. Whatever it is, let's have a, let's have a taste, actually. Mmm. Jalapeno poppers. Um, for those of you not here in the United States, not familiar with jalapeno poppers, maybe, I'm not sure the origins of jalapeno poppers. Um, I'm not sure of its, its worldwide impact of the jalapeno popper. They come in, in, in a few different varieties and a few different um, um, incarnations. I have to say, my favorite is not exactly quite this breaded and fried and cream cheese stuffed jalapeno. I actually prefer the ones that are wrapped in bacon. Uh, and stuffed with cream cheese. Those are my favorite kind of jalapeno poppers. But the thing that makes it just amazingly awesome is this jam, this raspberry jam. No, that's a strawberry jam. Mm. It's it it makes it just great. That combination of the spiciness from the jalapenos, the uh, the the hotness, just the temperature, it's its freshly out of the fryer. This is still hot, even though I walked home. I only live a few blocks from the Cherry Cricket. So, this is still very fresh. I'm, I'm kind of holding off for these few more seconds just to let it cool those few more seconds because inside is that burst of burning my mouth in So, let's dig in. Uh-oh. There we are. Sometimes it can be difficult to bite through the jalapeno cleanly. So sometimes you might like end up pulling the jalapeno cleanly out of its breaded shell. But oh fuck. Is that so good with this jam? Peoples out there of the world. If you're a fan of jalapeno poppers and you have never had it with a strawberry jam, I highly suggest you go out and do so at your soonest convenience at that. It's amazing. Yum. Can I? Can I get away from my burger? That's my burger. So I'm going to have to get away, kitty. <laughs> That's right, I kicked you in the face. I didn't kick him in the face. I just put my foot up and kind of brushed the tip of my foot towards his face. He saw it coming and he jumped away. Now Eris is getting up there. What the frig, kitties? So obviously they are wanting me to get into that burger. So I'm going to dig into this cricket burger. It is a half pound of American raised beef. Here in front of me right now, I topped it off with a little bacon and a slab of some cream cheese because, well, you can never have too much cream cheese, can you? You probably can, but not here, not on this burger, not with my jalapeno poppers. And also am enjoying it with not regular fries, but sweet potato fries. You got sweet potato fries out of the ship. Um, 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 um. Okay, one more fry. Kitty, get away from the poppers now. And now I dig into this burger. I'm gonna put the tomato. Some may say the tomato. I usually say tomato, but I decided to say tomato that time because sometimes you just gotta go with the alternate, you know? So you got the tomato. The lettuce on top. I'm not going to put the pickle slice on top. I'm just going to take a bite of the pickle. Question of the day. 
peoples of the world. Are you a pickle person? Do you like pickles? Let me know in the comment section below. If you don't, let me know why you don't because I've come across some interesting stories when asking people about pickles. There's a little friggin' gnat flying around in here. How'd you get in here, gnat? Anyways, cheers world. Mmm, bacon, burger, goodness with the cream cheese on it. Impressions? That's a good burger. The way the cream cheese blends in with the meat, both of the meats, is amazing. Now, I did not order this with um, the chili peppers or the, the jalapeno peppers. I thought about it. I thought about it a lot, and now tasting it, I almost wish I did order at least some jalapenos on the side to kind of sprinkle some diced jalapeno action on there. That would really give this the kick. That would set it over the top. But holy fuck, is this a good burger. The kitty's looking at me. Oh, Aerith, no. I'm sorry, you can't have any. She was sitting, and she was like reaching out with her front paw, kind of pawing at the air at the burger, being like, I want some, Paul, I want some too. But no, little kitty, I cannot give you any. Because this is mine. <laughs> All mine. Mm. I almost hate to put it down, but I shall have to. I'm going to go ahead and sign off with my video for the day and bid you all a very, very happy April 1st. Cheers, world. Just kidding. April Fool's. Viewers of my show know now that on April 1st, I tend to do things just a little bit differently. But it is still the same show. It always is every April 1st. So, cheers world. I do have some new glass actually to debut today. Um, some brand new glass courtesy of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania from The Church. The Church Brew Works brings us, I uh, have a pint glass here, I also have a couple other ones, a, a taller one and uh, maybe a sort of wine-ish glass. So I'm pouring my, my hot, very hot freshly brewed tea into this cup because I didn't know if this cup could really handle the almost boiling water of the tea. Um, but I have it filled with my absolute favorite type of tea, the green chai tea. How perfect is that? A combination of green tea, green tea and a chai. Spiciness of awesomeness bringing perfection in liquidized form. Ooh, that's still hot! <sighs> so, use a little, uh, just a, a touch of honey. I didn't add anything, no honey, no sugar, no nothing to this cup right here. It still tastes amazing though. I really do love that green chai. This one in particular, specific batch that I'm drinking is made by Stash. That's just a brand of teas that they're on point. They make some good tea. <laughs> so, Cheers, everybody. I hope you have yourself a great and tea-eful day. And I will see you again tomorrow here on Bruin Daily. Peace, everybody.